न्यूक्लिक एसिड दीज आर इन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल एंड न्यूक्लियस में भी कहां पे दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द क्रोमोसोम्स ओके लेट मी जस्ट गेट द करेक्ट पेन दैट इज फाइन नो प्लीज राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल actually you know what the ppt that i had made that is not working in this pc so i have to write these things up okay please see <clears throat> please write nucleus of a living cell is responsible for transmission of inherent inherent characters also called heredity now in the nucleus we have chromosomes which are responsible for the transmission of these inherent characters please write next chromosomes chromosomes in the nucleus kar lijiye for the transmission of these characters <clears throat> now what are chromosomes made up of these right they are made up of chromosomes are made up of proteins and another type of biomolecules of proteins type of biomolecules called nucleic acid next dna in chromosomes okay so these dna they contain the basic genetic material they are also responsible for passing this genetic material to the next generation and one more responsibility is that it has to also pass it to the complete the cells of the the complete body there are two types of dna iske baad likhega there are two types of nucleic acid one is dna and the other is rna तो क्या बोलते हैं डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड
that is DNA, and then there is ribonucleic acid. This is what we call RNA. Nucleic acids are long chain polymers of long chain polymers of nucleotides. Okay, the important half of this can come in MCQ. This has come many times in MCQ. That nucleotide is monomeric unit of nucleic acids. Or you can also be asked, what is the monomeric unit of nucleic acid? Then it is nucleotides. A very similar word to nucleotide is nucleoside, but we learn about nucleoside later on. So please remember nucleotide is what? It is the monomeric unit. Is what we repeat it. Nucleotides. Are monomeric. units of nucleotide no oh, sorry nucleic acid <coughs> now so we have to learn about dna what are dna dna is a nucleic acid and nucleic acid is made up of nucleotides so if I learn about the nucleotide, that means we are learning about DNA and RNA. Okay. Now, what is nucleotide made up of? Please write anatomy of anatomy. Ka matlab, like what are the parts and pores? Are, what it is made up of? Anatomy of nucleic acid. So first of all, you will have a five carbon monosaccharide. That means five carbon sugar. A monosaccharide of five carbon. Okay, five carbon monosaccharide. Plus, we will also have a heterocyclic base. A heterocyclic nitrogenous base. Please go both. Please heterocyclic. nitrogenous base and then you will have a phosphate ion First of all, we will see about this. What are the five carbon monosaccharide unit? And then you will learn about the heterocyclic and phosphate is the ion is the same in all of the nucleotides. Can you move on? All of you are done till here. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Yes. Next one is important. Okay. The five carbon sugar. It is different in DNA and RNA. So one is known as beta D. Two D oxy. Hydrogen here, and you will have CH2OH. 
okay now the structure is very similar for beta d to deoxy ribose but the difference is that this oh is not present in that deoxy can not be lost okay this everything is same here also you will have ch2oh and here you will have hydrogen and here you will have both of these will be hydrogens okay now this deoxy ribose it is used in dna and this is used in rna so if you have rna the sugar will be what beta d ribose and the sugar in dna is beta d to deoxy ribose second carbon atom two prime carbon atom will not be having the oh group I'll write this down Done, everyone. Yes or no? Please tell me. Done, sir. Okay. All right. Next. Now, what are the nitrogenous base? Okay. So the nitrogenous bases. There are four bases in DNA. and there are four bases in rna we have adenine in both of them we have guanine this is also in both of them we have cytosine this is also in both of them but in dna you are going to have thymine and here you are going to have uracil in rna you are going to have uracil <coughs> so that is the only difference instead of thymine what do we have instead of thymine we have uracil yeah. structure of adenine and guanine is kind of similar and the structure of uh, uh, cytosine thymine and uracil these are also similar and also please write we denote adenine by a capital a guanine by capital g <clears throat> cytosine by capital c thymine by capital t and uracil by capital u Now write next. Write the structure. See, in adenine and guanine, you will have so six carbon see? and five carbon. A scroll up, okay. Done, sir. Thank you. Done. Okay. Six carbon chain, and then you are going to have a five carbon chain also. Yeah. 
here you will be having a double bond here and then you will have an NH this is the structure of adenine similar is the structure now this frame is same that means you will have nitrogen nitrogen like this but here you will have double bond o this nitrogen will have a hydrogen because it will not have a double bond here you have a double bond like this there is a double bond here and here this carbon atom is having one nh2 group this is guanine This will have a double bond here. This nitrogen will have NH. Here you will have a double bond O and a double bond here. This is cytosine. Thymine is similar, but you have nitrogen here. Double bond O, double bond O. <clears throat> the difference between thymine and uracil is that there is no CS3 in the uracil. Nitrogen, double bond O, nitrogen, double bond O, this nitrogen will have NH, this nitrogen, uh, this nitrogen will also have NH. A double bond here, but here you will not have any CS3. So this is uracil. Okay, please remember thymine is used, may it is present in DNA, uracil is present in RNA. Uracil is present in what? It is present in RNA. Yahan se aap yad ka, you have RA, that means uracil will be present in RNA. Okay, please remember that. Uracil will be present in RNA, thymine will be present in DNA. <coughs> Done everyone, yes or no, please tell me. Yes. Okay. Now, the base and the sugar, base and sugar, se kya banta? you form nucleoside. So, the base plus sugar, it forms nucleoside. Reaction nahi hai, please. Take it. Reaction nahi hai. is equal to curly JS4. Reaction like this. It's not a reaction. nucleoside okay so we have the five carbon base okay. 
So the base will be attaching on the first prime, one prime. Here you will have the base. Here you have hydrogen. This is OH, this is H. This is OH, this is H. Here you have CH2, which is connected with OH. And here you have H. So this is one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime. And this carbon atom is five prime carbon atom. Please write the unit formed by attachment of a base to one prime position of sugar. is known as nucleoside no if you add the phosphate ion, the phosphoric acid or the phosphate ion onto the nucleoside, then you will get nucleotide. So as I mentioned, when you write the alphabetical order A, B, C, D, F, G, then you will have P, Q, R, S, it comes before T, right? So what will happen? Nucleoside, then only you can form the nucleotide. Please remember it like this. Otherwise, you will be always confused what is nucleoside and what is the nucleotide, how to distinguish them. You can remember it like this. S will come before, right? And then only you can form T. First, what should you do? Nucleoside. Nucleoside. And when you add the phosphate ion, then only you are going to get nucleotide. Okay. Now see. You have base, hydrogen, H, OH, OH, H, and this is the CH2. This CH2 will be attached with the phosphate ion. So phosphate ion is phosphorus with double bond O and two O negative. Wait a second, not like this. There will be an oxygen atom in the middle also, PO4 negative. Oxygen, phosphorus, double bond O, O negative, and O negative. So this complete thing is known as nucleotide. What do you want to notice with me? All of you wrote this down? Done, sir. The structure of, okay, now right. <clears throat> structure of nucleic acid. Okay, so this is also very important right here. Nucleotides are joined nucleotides are joined together by phosphodiester linkage.
फॉस्फोडाइस्टर लिंकेज forms between 5 prime and 3 prime carbon 5 prime and 3 prime carbon atom of pentose sugar of pentose sugar so we have seen we have o negative bonded to phosphorus double bond o o negative single bond o attached with ch2 the ch2 will be attached with the pentose sugar right and it will have a base here okay so this is the generic structure this will have oh yaha pe so this is the 3 prime and this is the 5 prime similar structure you will have of one more nucleotide that is o negative bonded to phosphorus double bond o single bond o negative single bond o bonded to ch2 in the fifth carbon atom you will have base here now if you add both of these this oxygen atom it attaches on the third three prime so what do we get base this prime as it is and here we have oxygen attached with phosphorus this phosphorus will have double bond o single bond o negative single bond o and then base aha uh -huh. ek second just a second guys इसको प्लीज करेक्ट कर लीजिए जरा okay so this linkage 3 prime and this is 5 oh yahan pe bhi na ch2 likh lijiyega please here also po and you will have o then ch2 and then the carbon atom here and this is the 5, 5 prime carbon so this linkage between the 3 prime and 5 prime carbon atom it is known as phosphodiester linkage also one more thing please remember this part here this is the end of the nucleo nucleic acid chain the poly nucleotide so this is the 3 prime end okay after this we don't have any nucleotide and this is what this is the 5 prime so this is the 5 prime end ek second ruk jaiye hum isko fir se hi bana dete hain ek baar please wait here
So in general, what you will have? You will have sugar. This sugar will have some base. Then you will have another sugar which will be joined by the phosphate. And then you will again have sugar, the base. And then again, you will have the phosphate. And again, sugar, the base and so on. Okay, so this part from sugar to phosphate, this will be n times. The so general structure will be two sugars are joined between and they are joined by the phosphate linkage. And this phosphate linkage, it is from P prime of carbon atom to five prime of this carbon atom. All of you done, yes or no, please tell me. Done, sir. Right, next. <clears throat> now, when you will have nucleic acid, the only important thing is the sequence of nucleic acid. Okay, so please write. And that is no, also known as the primary structure of nucleic acids. Information regarding. information regarding the sequence of nucleotides in the chain of nucleic acid. It's called its primary structure. Okay. A nucleic acid ka secondary structure bhi hota, but wo patna hai. even in the sense like you just need to know that there is something known as primary structure which tells us about the sequence of the nucleotides. Nucleotide mein fark kya rata, sir, base ka fark rata, and DNA and RNA, mein, what is the difference? In DNA and RNA they have a two different. First of all, that is of pentose sugar. And then in DNA, you are going to have thymine. In RNA, you are going to have uracil. But if I talk about the different nucleotides, then in different nucleotides, you will have different bases. That's it. <clears throat> now, right next, DNA. DNA and mainly the structure of DNA, we are going to learn about the structure of DNA. Okay. First of all, it was given by James Watson and Francis Crick. What was the structure that they proposed? They proposed double strand of double strand helix structure. So they, in DNA, we have two chains of nucleic acid and they are wound about each other and they are held it held together by hydrogen bond between the pairs of bases. Right next, what was the structure? They said two nucleic acid chains are wound about each other 
and held it together. by hydrogen bonds between pairs of bases. Okay. <clears throat> now, जो आपके पास यू हैव टू न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स राइट न्यूक्लिक एसिड का मतलब इट इज इट इज ऐसा नहीं कि दो एसिड होते हैं टू न्यूक्लिक एसिड मींस यू हैव चेन ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स पॉली न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स आर व्हाट न्यूक्लिक एसिड सो यू हैव टू स्ट्रैंड्स एंड दोस टू स्ट्रैंड्स आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी टू ईच अदर ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज वन स्ट्रैंड द अदर स्ट्रैंड विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस okay and these two strands are held together that means obviously this part these two parts will be having hydrogen bond and these hydrogen bonds are due to the nitrogen is base okay so usko hum padhenge please write next in the next line don't write the structure this time the two strands are complementary complementary to each other because the hydrogen bonds form hydrogen bonds form are between specific pairs of bases what does it mean it means that for example if you have adenine forms hydrogen bond with thymine and cytosine with form it forms with guanine Or rather, I can write guanine forms hydrogen bond with cytosine. So adenine and guanine they have three. Sorry, adenine and thymine they have two hydrogen bonds between them. Guanine and cytosine. They have three hydrogen bond between them. How can you remember this? Two and three hydrogen bonds. Look here. <coughs> Guanine. It is what GC. GC. Ko aap aise yaad rakhte hiye group chat. Now when you have a group, two ka pair hota hai. Group can be only form if you have three. ठीक है ना? तो group के लिए कितने चाहिए? Yeah, you need three people, and that is why three hydrogen bond. So group chat. अगर दो लोग हैं ना, group chat तो तभी बनेगा ना. And you are going to have at least three people. Otherwise, you can just talk one on one. So group chat is what minimum three and GC. Me, I have. Pass how many hydrogen bonds are present? Three hydrogen bonds are present and two in AT. So confuse me. Sorry, this is wrong. GC. How can I remember? Group chat. Group chat. Me three. That is why three and then two in AT. Adenine and thymine. Me two. Hota hai. So what does it mean that these are complementary? It means that, if, for example, I take this first strand and this is the second strand. Now in the first strand, I know the structure. I know that. Here we are having G, here we are having T, here we are having C, here we are having G, and here we are having A. Then this second, this is the first strand. Then the second strand, the जो आपका sequence होगा, the sequence of the second strand will be something like this. Now complementary to G, you will always have C. Complementary to T, you will have A. Complementary to C, you will have G. Complementary to G, you will have C. And complementary of A, you will have So, if you know the structure, or, or rather, if you know the primary structure of the first strand, you can also write the primary structure. That means the sequence of nucleotides for the second strand. Okay, that is why we say that these are these two strands are what complement. And one, if you know, 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 if you
then what is the sequence of the first structure first strand of nucleic acid is this clear asano please tell me guys all of you what what does it mean when we say it is complementary yes sir okay और ये चीज जो है ना ये तो आपका प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर हो गया एंड दिस हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर इसी क्या बोलते हैं यही आपका सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए ऑल ऑफ यू रोड दिस सेशन ऑफिशियल मी यस नेक्स्ट आर एन ए right here the list is of rna are single stranded are single stranded sometimes they fold back on themselves So generally, they will you will see RNA something like this. Okay, but sometimes what happens? This is the secondary structure. Generally, you have to pass RNA. Which way? Which way? Which way? But sometimes what happens? They will Okay, so as you can see, it has folded back. You have only one strand, but the one strand they fold back themselves and they form double helix structure. You can have single strand only, but sometimes they can fold back and form double helix. Structure. But please remember, it is single stranded. Okay, it is going to be single stranded only. right next you have three different types of rna and all of you must have heard whether you are from biology i mean whether you have biology or maths you must have heard about messenger rna which is abbreviated as mrna the pfizer vaccine is based on what it is based on mrna then you have what ribosomal rna one is ribosomal rna this is known as r rna and then there is trans rna this is known as trna Now, what is the important function of RNA? DNA का function क्या था? To pass on the hereditary information. The role of RNA is for protein synthesis. Is it? Important function of nucleic acid. is of 
protein synthesis. in the cell. All of you, please tell me. <coughs> Lens. Okay. And that is it only. I mean, you don't have anything else. Mm -hmm. This three types. This question has been asked. That how many types of RNA are present? And then what are the uses? What is the use of RNA? It is for protein synthesis. So one more question I guess is other kuch aega nahi aapko. Okay. And remember about the bonds that is present. And what is the difference between DNA and RNA? Usko dekhi. That is it. We don't have much things here. Okay. First of all, uh, I mean, how this protein synthesis happens. Okay. So you have the DNA. DNA batata hai. Ki aapke paas protein, the synthesis. DNA batata hai. Ki like what type of protein has to be. So you have the DNA like this. Okay. Now DNA mein aapke paas, what do you have? You have two strands. These are bases. Okay. The dash are what? These dashes are just the bases. Now you have this DNA, then there is mRNA, messenger RNA, what does it do? It breaks the and you get two different strands. Okay, now you have got what? You have got two different strands. These are the messenger RNAs and these messenger RNA, these form protein and this also forms protein. That is why if you remember, you have mRNA vaccine. Okay, so mRNA vaccine, it goes to the body. Okay, so messenger RNA, it has single strand. And this single stranded messenger RNA, it forms what? It forms spike protein. What is spike protein? Spike protein is that part of coronavirus, which is problematic for us, which is having spikes. And that is why it stuck in the upper part of the lung and this spike protein when it is made when the spike protein will be made by the messenger RNA then what will happen then the body is going to produce antibodies okay now this spike protein is not very important because we have genetically prepared using messenger RNA it is not the actual coronavirus now this antibodies now we have prepared an antibody and this antibody is going to kill the spike protein okay it is going to destroy the spike protein now once we have got the antibodies prepared when you actually get coronavirus, 
then we already have the antibodies to tackle the coronavirus. So that is why this is the how the this is how the vaccine works. So what is the use of this messenger RNA? It is used for the synthesis of spike protein. And this spike protein, whenever as soon as it is made, the body it produces antibodies to kill the spike protein. Now, since we already have antibodies, we are not afraid of COVID-19. When the COVID-19 will come, then the antibodies are going to just kill the COVID-19. Okay. So messenger RNA is used for the synthesis of protein. But what is where is the information? Where is the information? Information is the in the DNA. Okay, so these single strand of protein, these are from DNA. So information is given by DNA and protein synthesis is done by RNA. Okay, so yeah, that's it. The information, what type of protein, what type of protein, वो इन्फॉर्मेशन कहां से मिलेगा डीएनए से अच्छा ये मैसेजर आ रहे हमने कहां से स्टार्ट किए दिस इज फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल कोरोना वायरस एंड देयर इज वन स्लाइट मॉडिफिकेशन दैट साइंटिस्ट डिड इन मैसेजर आरएनए इफ यू रिमेंबर आरएनए इट विल हैव यूरेसेल यूरेसेल इट इज काइंड ऑफ नॉट वेरी स्टेबल बट इन मैसेजर आरएनए दे यूज्ड अ बिट स्टेबल यूरेसेल दैट इज यूराटाइड डी आई थिंक But something other, some different composite of uracil, not actual uracil, some different thing. Okay, so this is important. Is please please take information. Of what protein to make? is given by dna this is done by are <clears throat> Done, everyone. Yes, please tell me. Everyone done. 